to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this purple glitter cut crease. Please subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into the video. First I'm going to be starting off using an Anastasia Beverly Hills 813 brush with the shade Illicit from the BB Bay EYN Bright Matte 42 color palette. I'm going to be blending that color through the crease and then a little bit above the crease. Then I'm going to be going in with the shade Drama Queen with a Morphe Small Blending Brush and blending that above the black shade. This is personally my favorite brush from Morphe and I'm going to be going in with the shade Living for Lavender mixed with Purple Power and blending that out. area to get it ready for my P. Louise base. After applying the P. Louise base with my Anastasia concealer brush, I went in with the J.Cap Beauty 3D Holographic Eye Topper in the shade Unicorn Dreams. the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter in the shade Hopeless Romantic. Personally, I don't think that this is a real body glitter. It's in a really small container, but I just use it as normal glitter, so. I then applied a pair of my favorite Tati lashes and then went in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the shade Fair 15 Warm and highlighted my under eyes, chin, nose, and forehead and then blended that out. sunlight to bronze up my cheekbones with an Anastasia powder brush. Off camera, I applied the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Parker, and then I topped it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Jelly Lip Gloss. I feel like this is one of like the most unique lip glosses that I own. It's like a holographic, like pinky purple, golden kind of gloss, and it honestly looks like a jellyfish, so I think it's really cool. I then went in with the Sigma Fan Brush and the shade Unicorn from the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. Honestly, I think that this is like my favorite glow kit that Anastasia has ever come out with. I think it's the most unique and it has so many undertones and it's so pigmented. It's amazing. <laughs> brush and took a little bit of the shade Livin' for Lavender and blended that out onto my lower lash line. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.